nice weather again today. And it seems like there's a lot more berries and stuff actually growing around the plants and stuff here. I always see these people actually sometimes they come with like buckets and stuff like that and they start picking them. And what did I read today? I guess this first one I read actually made me question it for reasons which most people wouldn't actually notice, I guess. This one says, Powell River RCMP issues warning after drone flow near windows of homes. Usually these types of stories deals with privacy, like people worry that they're being quote spied on, even though we all know that's kind of crazy based on the cameras that a lot of the consumer ones have. But this one here says, don't fly your drones near homes. It's a lesson Powell River RCMP hopes sinks in with one operator who was flying a drone close to the windows of two homes near Mineral Rock last Wednesday night. Police identified the pilot and issued a warning. The RCMP is sending a reminder that drones are not to be flown near buildings and must be at minimum 30 meters away from any person. Police also say that flying one within 5.6 kilometers of a radius of the Powell River Airport is chargeable under Transport Canada statute and can result with fines of up to $3,000. It made me wonder of a couple of things. One, well, how close was it? Was it technically, for example, someone on their own property, let's say their own house or whatever, flying it, getting some shots, for example, and then you have some neighbor who really hates drones say, oh, get this thing away from me, they're spying. Because that would be what, there's nothing wrong with it because that brings up the other point where if this is the RCMP telling people for example that drones are not to be flown near buildings like that's illegal for example, there's so much misinformation. This isn't an isolated incident either. I know there's so many, again, police officers or RCMP who actually give people, I guess, untrue information. There's nothing in the regulation that says you're not allowed to fly near a building for example. So are they just misinformed or are they lying about the laws? And basically trying to think, why would they say this? This is how it was way back. I'm talking way back, like 2017. For example, the old rules were you can't fly higher than 90 meters at night within 75 meters of buildings, vehicles, or people. And plus it was that clause of animals, if you guys remember. And that one, you were supposed to stay away nine kilometers from the airport areas and stuff like that. So it makes me wonder, if that is the case, that's still bad where they're basing it on laws that old in general. You guys remember that time where I could have used the drone for a search and rescue, but they gave basically the family incorrect information on basically the restrictions of things like drones. They actually mentioned that, oh, you have to keep it nine kilometers away from airports. But at the same time, it's like they're not aware of anything in terms of what it currently is like. Even I'm going to say it's still over the top, so to speak, but yeah, it's just kind of crazy how law enforcement or whatever don't even have updated information. Like in this case, what if the person was flying like what? A micro drone or something like that. That should be okay, right? I can just imagine all the bad cops too in terms of them bullying people. If someone's actually flying it, they're doing absolutely nothing wrong. Let's just pretend, for example, this person's flying within their own property, just getting some shots. Let's just say it's a micro drone, it's perfectly okay. You have some neighbors saying, oh, this thing's illegal. And then you bring the cops over and they start giving that person a lecture, even though they're not doing anything wrong. And on lighter news, I read this one, it was kind of interesting. This one says, Canada's highest suspension bridge just opened in BC. BC residents keen on adventuring locally, now that the ban on recreational travel has lifted, can check out Canada's highest suspension bridge right here in the province. Golden Sky Bridge opened earlier this month in Golden, BC and offers visitors a view 426 feet above a canyon. By comparison, North Vancouver's Capilano Suspension Bridge is 230 feet above the Capilano River. So that must be kind of an awesome place, I guess, to see some scenery. And how much does it cost? It says $34 for an adult and $17 for kids. And it says you can actually, what, go with a zip line and stuff like that? Anybody who have the guts to do that?
All right, see you guys later.